Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Rayleigh's Small Engines. Today we're going to be working on this Great Dane Chariot. It has an issue with cutting off. This thing has a Kohler engine. The tag is about gone, CV730. Um, I'm going to have to write that somewhere on this machine because I know I'll get to see this one over and over again. This machine is called Baby. Uh, this commercial customer, he owns uh, some very nice Skaggs, Walkers, uh, Gravelys, and but this is what he uses at home for his personal use. And this is his favorite machine, so I guess I better fix it. Um, I'm going to get this thing started up and show you exactly what it's doing. All right, let's fire it up and I'll show you what we're doing. Doesn't want to stay running. I'm going to give it a little more choke. Okay, it cuts off. All we've got to do is figure out why. What I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna disconnect the air filter pipe and we're gonna crank it up and right when it goes to die, I'm gonna give her a little shot of brake cleaner back there and see if it stays running to see if we're dealing with fuel or fire issue. hose off and just pull it up here out of the way all right let's see if we can get her to start again all right it goes to time we'll shoot it Tell us, we know it's a fuel problem. Now that we know for a fact it is a fuel problem, let's see if it's carburetor or if it is before the carburetor, meaning a fuel line, fuel pump, or something in the tank, or, or something like that. Stand by and I'll get us set up. Poor old Great Dane. We've got him, oh my goodness, we got him on an IV. Had to do a bypass, bypass the fuel pump. What we did, folks, we uh, just took an old gas tank and I bungee corded it to the top. And I'm gonna run gas gravity fed straight to the carburetor, therefore bypassing the fuel line, the fuel tank, the fuel pump, fuel filter will bypass all that. And let's see, if old baby here will run off of an auxiliary fuel tank. If so, we'll just leave it, we'll just duct tape it up there. What do y'all think? Stand by, let's see if she'll run. All right, so we've got our tank hooked up. That's the fuel line from the tank. It's bypassed. That's out of the fuel pump. I just clamped it off so that we're not blowing gas with the pump still working. Then we hooked up, put some gas in our auxiliary tank. Our fuel is on. Let's see if she'll run. Houston, we have a problem. Looks like we're going toward the carburetor instead of toward the fuel tank. Now you're going to ask, how in the world, what all you got to take off to even get to the carburetor? There it is way up in there. Well, guys, I'm going to show you. Y'all stand by. Y'all listen to a tune or something here. I'm going to probably fast forward this for you guys. We'll show you how to get her done.
grapes. Of course, you know it's going to be fun when you read and it says, it'll focus, Nikki. There's a diaphragm up top. There's another diaphragm and spring in here. We want to remove this, see if we got fuel in the bowl, and see if it's getting up here where it's supposed to to get in the engine. Spraying into the inlet, nothing coming out of this seat. Let's see if there's some stoppage in there. There's our problem, right there, folks. It's not coming through. Wonder why. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna blow air through the seat. Got a nice, clean rag here we wanna save. I got my beautiful assistant over here. Or two. Not getting anything. All right, blow back the other way. Just a little bit. I can feel it on my finger now. Something's got to be loose in there, binding up somewhere. Now I'm getting the fuel through. I wasn't a while ago, so something is still in there. Y'all stand by a minute. All right, well, I can't get anything out of here on this white. I've taken this uh, my little tip cleaner that was broken already and bent it. I can go all the way up in there. I have blown brake cleaner through it, air through it, and, I mean, it is flowing now all of a sudden. I mean, I don't know how much more fluid you need coming through there. So, I don't know what was blocking it. Anybody got a good guess? Now we've got a pipe cleaner. I'm going to stick in here to see if there's any kind of dirt in this pipe. All right. That went all the way to the bottom of the seat. I'm marking it with my finger. All the way to the bottom of the seat. I get nothing. It is spotlessly clean. Now, why wouldn't it blow through there a minute ago? Somebody tell me why. Tell me why. I don't know why. So, I guess I'm going to put it back together, put it on the machine, hook the IV back up, and let's see if it'll run. I have a suspicion that maybe I missed something blowing it out of uh, that elbow. Maybe I didn't catch it. Uh, I look back on the footage. I cannot find anything blowing out. So, any of you guys saw anything, let us know. But I'm going to put it back on there, and we'll go run it off the IV and go from there.
So I went and got my IV stand, <laughs> my hand truck. Don't y'all be picking on my setup. I put just enough stuff back on this thing to run. I ain't putting air cleaner and all back on. We are just running off of our IV tank. We are not using the old fuel lines or pump. We don't want to use any of that. I want to know that this is new, fairly new line. It ain't old, I put it that way. Anyhow, so we're gonna, let me put this seat back down so I can get the drive handles back in neutral and we're gonna see if we can fire it up, see if it works or not. All right, wish me luck. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I know a little bit of gas pumped down at the top up here. That's okay, not gonna hurt anything. The key is, will it stay running? I'm gonna let it sit here a minute. And I'll be right back with you. It's been about a minute, she's still running. Let me shut this off and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. So unless I did not see something come out of that carburetor when I had it off, I know it was blocked. Y'all saw it, I saw it. Sorry about the wobbly camera. What I'm gonna do, the fuel line coming out of the fuel pump to the carburetor, I'm gonna replace it. I'm going to replace this fuel pump and from the fuel filter to the fuel pump fuel line and the fuel filter. I'm going to replace all those and put her back together. The only thing I can figure is maybe uh, there's something in this fuel in these fuel lines or something. Maybe the inside of the fuel lines have deteriorated and got in there. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Normally we can see something coming out of there. So let me get these uh, fuel lines replaced and get this thing put together and we'll see if she'll run without being on life support here. Life support system, see? Yeah, okay. Y'all stand by, let's see if I can get her put together right quick. You gotta put the seat down, put it in neutral. What 
while while you guys are sitting there listening to this music, why don't you uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring the bell. That way you get notifications on all my new videos. Y'all stand by, I'm gonna put the rest of it together. We're going for a ride. <laughs> Stopping by. Y'all come back to see us now, you hear? We're gonna get on out of here and go fix something else.